Good morning. I'm Brian from Mapalist. Uh, today I am going to talk about a new feature we just launched and why we created it. So we had a user contact us this week about uh, how to create a heat map. And uh, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna create a tutorial in how to create a heat map. And then I realized, um, and so I was like, okay, let me get the uh, COVID stats uh, that's topical. And I created a heat map and uh, the heat maps that we supported used to be uh, pin count based heat maps. And so it just showed uh, all the pins in all the countries. And I was like, well, that's not really what I wanted to plot. I, I want to plot uh, number, essentially the, I wanted to plot, you know, cases per location. Um, anyway, so I had to figure out how to, how to articulate that or how does the industry articulate that. And so um, I think we've settled on, uh, there is pin count based heat maps and pin weight based heat maps. Um, anyway, so uh, today uh, I'm gonna walk through two things that we just recently launched. Um, so now we can capture uh, pin weight. Um, you can have a column that you can kind of make your weight, your relative weight, and then with that weight, you can create two different types of maps. One is a heat map uh, based on the relative weight um, of your pins. And the second is uh, we can uh, scale the icon size also based on that relative weight. Okay, have fun. All right, so I've got a fresh browser session here. I'm going to uh, insert the uh, Wikipedia URL that where I found the COVID, stat, the COVID breakdown by state. I'm going to create a new Google Sheet to store the data because Google Sheets are the uh, data backend to your maps. Uh, through the wizardry of uh, copy and paste, uh, Google Sheets is able to take uh, an HTML table and convert it to cells, which is great. Um, I, do, I have to do a little cleanup here. I'm removing this totals row because we don't need that. And uh, I'm just um, needlessly uh, renaming some columns it really isn't required. And I'm going to remove the empty row and delete that first column. And then I've got data. Now, this has a lot more data, but I'm really only interested in the state and case cases, case counts, although I can use all these different. Um... All right, so I've logged, I've gone to mapalist.com. I've logged in with our new uh, login via Google where I don't need to manage a password anymore. Uh, I'm going to create a new map. You see, I see the new sheet that we uh, just created. And uh, okay, in the assign fields here, we now see this new optional field for weight. Not required, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the cases as the weight, and I see that it is incorrectly assigned uh, population to latitude. Okay, cool. So we're geocoding. This happens pretty quickly. Okay, great. So immediately here, we see a pin size uh, relative to the weight. Um, anyway, so, that, so this is one of the new map types. You can see that in the Northeast area, there are more cases uh, than there are in other places. Okay, and then I'm showing here that you can kind of apply and unapply the weights. So if you decide you don't want to use the weights, you can turn that on and off after the map's been created. And then I'm going to go ahead and change to a heat map. And we can see here, this is the pin count based heat map. And then I just changed to apply the weights. And now we're showing a heat map based on the pin weight. So this was kind of the whole uh, desire of, or the impetus in us creating this feature. Uh, so you can again, apply and unapply the weights on the manage map page. And on the manage page, you can see uh, the field assignments. So you can see here that the weight is assigned to cases. Uh, and I think I will show that we can just, I'll pop out the map here in a second. I think I was just getting restless at the end of the video. Great, so this is the, the pin weight based heat map. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if there are additional tutorials that you think would be valuable, please let us know in the comments uh, as well as let us know in the comments if you have any questions. All right, happy mapping.